Hey guys, this is the Vintage Mobile Phone Review Guy, back again after a big three year gap. Um, I made an update video in the previous clip, or video, uh, if you want to check out like why, you know, I didn't upload anything else after like three videos and... Yeah, I'm just gonna make a few more a few more videos now for 2019 uh, and see how they do. See if they get, see if people like them. See if people don't. Um, it all depends. Uh, but I have a few more phones to show you. Um, and one of them is this one. I have never been able to actually uh, get onto this phone at all um, because of some SIM card issues ever. Ever since the like when I first got it, uh, how did I get this this Nokia? Uh, it is the model three four one zero, I think it is. Uh, I'll have to double check. We'll be looking into the back in a minute, but I got this uh, when uh, a situation happened in when I was on holidays in France with my parents, family, all that, um, and the uh, fucking toilets flooded. Uh, like the pipes, I don't know, something happened, all the water came out of the toilets. I was the only person in the, um, the little caravan we were staying in, um, in a caravan park. Um, that, like, we were just renting it there for, like, the holiday, for, like, a week. We, you know, we don't, we didn't, like, own a caravan or whatever down there in France, in this caravan park. Um, anyway, and it, the toilets overflowed and water went everywhere, like, all over the, uh, the you know, caravan, um, and luckily, I was able to, uh, tell my, call my parents when, because I was the only person in the caravan, I was like, look, there's a flood, and, you, you know, your phones are damaged, because their phones, like, got waterlogged, and, uh, so yeah, basically, what happened was, you know, we had to move to a different caravan in the caravan park, and you know they gave us the caravan park owners gave us like a free phone to use for the moment luckily enough um what my parents did with their phones which got water logged uh they you know did the old trick where they take out the batteries and put the battery in uh, a bowl of rice and it actually worked like their phones were fixed and working again um and like my phone my mom's phone at the time because uh, this was around like 2012, wasn't far off like one of these, uh, anyway, it was like another little Nokia, it's actually one of the ones that I'm going to be selling on, um, but, and then my dad's was kind of like a shitty Samsung touchscreen phone, which was, uh, quite rubbish, like a lot of, uh, Samsung phones are really, uh, they're kind of just like knockoffs of the iPhone, and then again, I know people have issues with the iPhone, of course, because they overprice everything. But uh, anyway, that's how I got this phone. Little story I just wanted to uh, go through before I actually make this overview review um, video. So this little thing is pretty nifty, to be honest. Uh, and yeah, for years I was locked out of it. I couldn't get into the damn phone because um, of the SIM card. So I did, what I ended up doing was just going through like loads of SIM cards that I had lying around, like old Nokia ones, and they all didn't work until I used one that I had myself on an old Nokia phone uh, that I used for like a few years, and I put in the pin code and it worked, uh, so now I'm able to get onto this phone and make a video on it. But it's about the size, it's small, it's like, it's really, it's really adorable to be honest. It's about the size of like a, you know, little red kick gap. Uh, bar in kind of like um, height uh, and it fits in your pocket real easily like it you know would literally just be like the perfect kind of dummy phone to use in case you ever wanted to uh, take a break from like today's technology today's iPhones and whatnot um, and you know you just wanted to just use this and, like hey people call me on this phone I, I'm you know uh, so it's got a really kind of interesting turquoise color to the casing. Um, it also has this like quirk, quirky kind of design on the back as well, which is pretty neat. Um, and uh, yeah, there's like this really bad crack on the side. 
and for this reason I don't know if I will be keeping the phone but there is this really interesting game that I found on it so I don't know if I'll be selling it now because I really like the game uh I'm not sure what these things are on the side. I think that's for when you would put the phone into your car to like have there be like a bit of grip. Uh, and on the top, we got the on off switch, push it down and, you know, be able to get access into the uh, phone. Um, this on the side for keychains, uh, speaker up here. Uh, it's pretty good, uh, you know. It's quite loud as well, which is what you want, like, especially for, like, using it for an alarm clock or just, like, to know what you're pressing. Beep, boop. Okay, I know I pressed that. Um, then we've got the bottom here uh, for the headphones, for the charger. Um, and then there's, like, a really small one as well. I'm not really sure what that is. It's on a lot of these old Nokia phones, and I always forget what it's for. Um... So yeah, that's the casing overview. Um, I only have one hand. <laughs> I thought I could do this with one hand. Alright, so I'm going to pause the camera. So that took two hands. Uh, so we're in and uh, it actually, it's it's very easy to get it open, you know. You just press that. Okay, that's a nice design. You just push it up and you're open. Uh, but obviously, of course, you have to press the, see the button here. You, you jam that down and then push up and you're able to get in uh, and it you know it sticks in quite well as well um so we won't have any issues with things sliding off or anything like that um here's the battery uh and then see this is kind of like a more modern sim card because uh, it was mine that i used um when i myself had like a bit of a you know old kind of dumb phone uh, that i used uh for um school uh so you press the two sides here to get it open i might need my two hands again for this so yeah you you just press the two side bits there you can see as you can see and it just pops out the battery uh so here's what the battery looks like and then yeah the model number is th i think i got it right yeah three one three four one oh a uh, really early kind of model. Um, Nokia Corporation and SIM card in here, which just is very, it's really easy to get to the SIM card. You just slide it out like that and it's, yeah, it's simply, simply put in. Um, and I'm just going to pause the camera again just to close everything. Now it's time to power it on. And it's cool, look, it kind of glows, uh, the buttons do. So my code is one, two, three, four. I was never able to get the code right with all the other SIM cards because they were kind of like other people's and stuff. And you only needed, you, you were only able to get on this phone with a SIM card. It wouldn't let you turn it on without one. So, um, invalid time. Uh, I'm just trying to get onto the thing exit uh see so yeah, i'm able to get on don't worry <laughs> um so i'm gonna zoom in up close this is kind of like what happens when it's on standby it has this like kind of smiley face thing um but yeah a keypad keypad's easy to use um for everything for typing for playing games it, you know i like how the buttons kind of all slide in together um really old school uh, so yeah, um, exit. So here's the, here's the main menu. It's hard to get it. It doesn't, it's not backlit, you see. So, um, you've got the contacts. And it's also got this thing here on the side, look. So like, it would be listed one, two, three, four. Um, so... Yeah, uh, and then no contacts, obviously, but you you could just add them in pretty simply with all these different settings. So yeah, um, and then the main menu, of course, you have the usual uh, stuff like messages, call register, profiles, settings, 
like you do with all of these mega old Nokia phones. Uh, so we'll try out the messages and messaging first. You can write a message, inbox, outbox, chat. Picture messages, which usually consist of like those smiley faces that you that come up on the when it's on standby. Download picture messages, templates, smileys. So these are, yeah, real old school smileys. I kind of miss them to be honest. Like everything, you can't even like type them in anymore because it automatically comes up with uh, the emojis in, instead of being able to type the old smileys um, like that. You used to have to kind of turn your head to the side to to see. Um, so yeah, um, delete messages, message settings, all that kind of stuff. Um, so here, here I will attempt to write something. I'll just say hi. Uh, and I think it's locked into that automatic kind of uh, typing thing, uh, which happens... Uh, to pretty much most phones, you know, we have to kind of go into options and um, put in the setting for like being able to type without it typing in the words for you automatically. Um, and I think that, yeah, there's a way to do that, but I'm not going to obviously uh, spend time doing that. So there's messaging, call register, which would be for like organizing calls. Um, so yeah, I haven't tested this for like, you know, calling people, but I imagine uh, it's really low quality, like hearing people talk and it'd be really interesting to be honest, using this to call someone. Um, and then profiles, this I think is really just to do with, um, you know, the volume uh, setting. I, I'm on loud by the way, so, like, I can just really hear and know what I'm doing, uh, you know, like I said, if I press something, so, that's what I like for my profile, um, settings is just settings for the tone, the time, call settings, phone settings, keyboard settings, like, keyboard language and all that, well, no, actually not, because uh, that's in a different place, uh, security settings, which I haven't looked in actually, um, so I haven't spent the time to look at that, but uh, you get the idea, I guess, because I went through the list a little. Restore the factory settings, which is like restoring to the very beginning, uh, you know, the phone to like its factory settings, um, brand new. Um, so yeah, downloads, I can't really fuck with this because it... Um, it's forced me to set the alarm, or not the alarm, the time. Um, I hate, yeah, one thing I really don't like about these old Nokia phones is how they always make you go to the um, main menu after you just you press back sometimes and stuff like that. Um, then reminders, this is kind of like notes app like you would have for the iPhone and stuff. Uh, it's not letting me in there. Right, so yeah, back to the back to the home screen again. Uh, wait, no, I actually didn't go back to the home screen that time. Um, apologies for for those few seconds lost. Uh, so games, I will look at that last because that's the fun part. Applications. Um, so there's no kind of apps in uh, in there. Um, I don't actually have any apps. I think I'd have to to use the internet on this to get the apps which i don't know actually how to get the internet on these old nokia phones it's you can't really get wi-fi on them so i think i don't know you have to call up, i think you have to call up the internet or something which is interesting i'm not sure how that works i don't understand it um so then services that's to do with the internet extras alarm clock calculator uh so you can use the calculator here um eight plus eight equals wherever equals is i don't know forget let's forget about that to be honest um so yeah stopwatch um countdown timer uh composer um which i haven't used yet i wonder what that is 
Oh yeah. This is uh, this is what people kind of use for making songs uh, on these old Nokia phones. So that would be fun to use. Um, maybe in a separate video or something. Like I could make a song out of uh, something using that. This is pretty interesting. This I've never seen before on uh, any of the old Nokia phones I've looked at or done videos on. Picture editor. Um, there's a screensaver as well. You can like select a screensaver. Uh, on or off. So. Picture. Yeah. Picture editor. This is really interesting. So you can basically like edit a photo. Or you can use clip art. Um, I'm not sure how the clip art works. Because I haven't messed with that. But you can. Sorry. Uh, create new. Picture message. You can basically like make your own pictures. So here's all the different tools. It's re it's extremely basic. It's like more basic than well, obviously Windows Paint because Windows Paint is on the computer. But uh, you can use a pen. The color. Don't be confused. There's only three, obviously. Um, insert. So you can battery low shit. Um. So I'm gonna finish up the video as quickly as I can. Uh. So insert line rectangle circle so um put in the charger so it doesn't go out of battery sorry for pausing the video again uh but so like i was saying um insert try you can put in like rectangles lines circles text clip art which clip art would be the smiley faces so do a smiley face um, they're really interesting looking smiley faces. Look, there's like one with like two question marks for eyes. I don't quite get that. Uh, so I'm going to use that. Um, insert, yeah. Options. Um, mirror. I don't know what mirror is. What's that do? Oh, it reflects it. So, um, mirror invert colors. Uh, would you mean like to swap the colors fill that would like fill in let's say like if i inserted a rectangle um but yeah i'm really just gonna just hold on I'm trying to figure out how to use the pen again so yeah you would just select it the pen and then just move around like this or like this down and that's how you get the pen going uh, and you can just move one to go like in that direction and uh, I'm just really just goofing around to show you some demonstrate demonstrations I'm sure um, if you were really creative you could create something uh, out of this like uh, old Nokia phone uh, and you know show people be like hey look i made this on this old banger nokia phone and it's like something really incredible uh similar to the composer thing because some people have actually um done some incredible uh covers for songs and stuff using the composer um so yeah i'm not going to save that um so now i think we're pretty much at the end of the phone really we've looked at everything almost everything got the games there's actually quite a few games which is pretty cool so i went in here and there's six games there's snake 2 space impact everyone kind of knows those games Do you remember the one with the snake and space impact is that really cool kind of uh, game where you know you uh you're a little kind of spaceship and you go around um shooting i'm probably gonna die <laughs> okay i'm i'm not doing well because I've only got one hand to do the video. But yeah. Space Impact. Bump, bumper. Bumper and Link 5. I think are more like puzzle. Sort of. Um, card. Board game type. Uh, phone games really. I'm trying to remember what this is again. Um, yeah. Well that's the same idea. Uh, sort of like a cards what's it not card 
um board game um there's one of them that isn't quite like that though. i'm trying to remember which it was which game it was uh oh yeah this was it yeah this was the one that is like slightly different to the other two um it's just a uh, pinball so and one and three would be the one buttons to press to kind of keep the ball in so yeah I'm not pressing them fast enough um so that is the main games and then this was really interesting I found this actually kind of cool game that I've never seen before hidden down in more games uh, and it's Mun Kiki it might even deserve its own video because uh, you know, the, one of the really cool things about these old phones is the games in them. So, uh, it's hidden down here. Um, and basically, it's almost like a 3D... Uh, see, it's taking a while to open because it's it's kind of a... Um, 3D game. But yeah, it's called Mun Kiki's Castle. And runs the same way Mario does... Uh, in the bird's eye kind of oh wait uh, it's already getting me to start a level so um so two two would be to run forward oh i think it's actually it left me off where i was uh in the game and i was stuck here um i didn't know what to do so like that's why i was kind of like hey you know i might come back to this uh game and do like a separate video on it on like completing it or a review on it or something but um yeah you get the idea 3d and you're a monkey and you walk around it's sort of like you're on this like platform uh and you collect coins or no music notes i think is what it is um and i'm stuck here at the moment i can't actually i'm not sure what to do I pr like i went over to here uh, i was thinking i might have to climb this to get up to it uh but none of the buttons were kind of working um but basically up the top of that is where i'm supposed to be to get over to hold on it's moving slowly but surely um not going to be too harsh on it though uh because it's quite old but that's where one of the music notes is uh basically over there uh, so like if I move over one, I'll die, but up on top of that, there's a music note. Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically what you have to do is collect music notes on like a platform and it's pretty interesting. It's definitely more of a game than like those kind of board game, puzzly games that we also saw in the game section. Um, but yeah, uh. So, Vintage Mobile Phone Review Guy, uh, back with another video on a very vintage Nokia 3410 mobile phone. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it was good, uh, my video. If not, tell me why. Uh, I'd like to know why. Uh, and, yeah, take it easy. Uh, signing out.